Hello guys and welcome to another HD video touch tutorial. I have a cold so I might cough in this video. You guys complain about that a lot. So whatever. I decided to warn you. Anyways, today we're gonna learn how to make a flower. Um, basic flower. And yeah, let's get started. Um, so today, um, what you're gonna do is click here. This might be a rectangle tool, whatever it is. Just click here and get the polygon tool. Alright, click that. Click here. Don't drag it, just click it. However many petals you want, uh, just put that number in. It's going to create that many sides to that polygon. So this has, this polygon currently has 10 sides. See, if you counted all the sides, it will count to 10. Um, so let's go ahead and put this color in there, or this gradient I made up. It's very easy to do. Uh, all you got to do is go to the gradient selection tool. Um, let's actually show you how to do it. This is going to be your original. This is, gonna, this is what you're going to have. You're going to click here. This, this is gonna be probably gray or whatever. Just it's gonna open up this. Um, this is your gradient pa panel, and just change these colors to whichever colors your heart desires. Yeah. And then you can switch them around. But that's just so that you know what color this is. All right. So now that we have it, the color we want, let's make those petals. All right. Go to window. Actually, go to Effect, Distort Transform, and Pucker and Bloat. And this is going to create the petals that you want. It already did it. Did that. Make sure you have uh, Preview selected. And boom, Pucker and Bloat. So, you know, if you go to the right side, it will pucker. If you go to the negative side, it will bloat, which it makes it look like some sort of um, exploding star or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, go ahead and get the shape that you want. I like it at about 83. Um, you might want to go 100 or more beyond that. But let's go. Let's go to 100 and see what happens. Uh, 101. Just type it in. 100. Press enter. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit small. So hold on Shift and drag it out. Boom. Now that we have this, we want to make sure that this shape is editable. Currently, although you can see this, um, the appearance has changed. As you can see, the path is still, you know, the old path. Um, it's still straight edge. So to make the path uh, become the shape, all you gotta do is go to Object, Object, and uh, actually, it's maybe Edit. No, it's object. I was right the first time. Click expand appearance. Expand appearance right here. And it will change to the path to what the object actually is. So now. If you look here. Let's zoom in a little bit. As you can see, the path has changed. To what you wanted it to be. To the flower. Alright. Now uh, let's go back to 100 or 200. Ooh, we're at. Come on, buddy. All right, let's zoom out a little bit more. All right. Uh, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna select this and duplicate it, and we're gonna select this really, really um, light shade of gray, almost white, and we're gonna click that. We're gonna drag it to the bottom of the flower. And we're gonna press R to get the rotate tool, and we're just gonna drag it like a little bit like that. And what that does is gives us a little nice subtle shadow effect. Um, and, you know, makes us right in, makes it look real nice. Um, so that's your basic how to make uh, flower petals. Flower. We. So if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel. Um, Please click on the ads or whatever. <laughs> uh, that's how we get paid. If you don't click on it, we don't get paid. Anyways, um, yeah. So thank you, but thank you for subscribing, uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.